The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Yo, see, look, kill this shit. Yo, welcome to the show. I appreciate y'all tuning in to the show and whatnot. We got a special guest in the building today. I'm here with Mr. Cran Sobehead, the winner on the Sobehead. The winner on it. What's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? Shit. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is a new year, new grind. New yeah, year. Yeah. Before, like, I get into, like, you know, letting the people know who you are and you tell them about yourself or whatnot. Okay. Is there anything you want to tell them about the new year? Like, what you got planned for the new year before we even dive into shit? Like, a that? whole lot of money, oh, yeah. a whole lot of coming. <laughs> 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 that's all, that's all I got to say. That's right, that's right. So how you get the name Mr. Crown so bad? I used to always cry on social media about something. <laughs> like, I was always crying on social media. Like, <laughs> it don't matter what it was, like, I used to turn everything into a problem. And I used to be like, I was crying so bad. Even so one day, I just emailed, just changed my name to Mr. Crown so bad. And they were like, I fuck with it. So it just went from there. Even if it wasn't like an issue or nothing? Yeah. Even if it wasn't an issue, I just used to turn it to an issue. Like, when some good, like I always cry, some good happened in my life, right. some bad happened in my life, or just for excitement, because crying is good for the soul, it's good to cleanse the soul. Was it like, I mean, before you got on social media doing it, did you have that same aspect of crying before I you did, got on there? I cried about everything. Like, it don't matter what it was. Like, my dad used to always tell me, you, you, you was too grown to be crying where you got a man up. I'm like, shit, fuck that, I'm finna cry. Right. Like, man, it's all right, folks. Yeah, and I, and I always feel better after I cry, so I, I wasn't never worried about that. For sure, for sure. Shit, how did that, like, lead into you going viral from crying videos, like, leading into you into you becoming an influencer and, be, and you going viral off of shit like that? I just feel like all that shit, like, went together. Like, once you find your path, and once you figure out what you want to do on social media, how you handled it from there is really the outcome you would get. Right. Like, it always comes from the country you post, and what you, how you want to get the people attention. If the people love to see you on there problematic, crying, starting drama, shit like that, that's what they're going to look for. Right. And they see you on there, you like wine or whatever, or you drinking, you're going to have wine take uh, testers on your page, and she's ready for it to see the next play, what you try. So it, it just really depends on what path you go. Right. Speaking of wine, baby, what's in this wine? <laughs> what's in the wine, man? I don't what's know. in it? I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. It's certain wines. Because, you know, some of them make you feel real drunk. Mm -hmm. Some of them make you feel sick as hell. <laughs> so you really, you really just, you really ain't just know. I really just can't put my... Mine on that, like I wish I had some wine right now. She. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like being in Alabama? Oh, it's it, it, Mary in Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Horrible. We got one road that leads you everywhere. You got like two traffic lights. We ain't got no restaurants. We ain't got no like Walmart? malls. We ain't no, got no Walmart. Walmart. Oh, no man. nothing. We got a Family Dollar, a Dollar General, and one grocery store. Damn, mm -hmm. that's crazy. And the thing about um, like Mary, Alabama. Isn't that the, it's drama field? Like, nothing that I know to do every day but fight, argue, then to start drama, being there about a mess, and it's just a lot going on down there. Like, kind of everybody Like a know sad city. Like, it's very moody. Always a dark cloud over it. That's crazy. So, with the city being so small like that, and you having such a big presence on TikTok or whatnot, like, how is that for you, man? Is there, like, other people out there in Marion, Alabama that has the, the presence on TikTok and social media platforms that you have? Well, yeah, it, it's it's two other people that doing their thing on social media. Um, Travis Richardson and um, Marcella, like, they, they doing their thing. Like, I grew up watching Marcella, so we studied. When I, when I got old enough to start filming, so, like, I was like, shit, I want to be just like this. So I started doing my thing and, you know, Facebook wasn't working out, so I took that shit to TikTok. Do you enjoy doing it? Oh okay, yeah, I love it. I want to trade it for the world. It's a, you know, that's kind of like how the world is shipping now. Like it's the oh, age yeah. of the internet. Everything is social media related nowadays. 
facts. Millionaires come from social media yep. and shit. So like having that huge presence on social media, has it ever been times where like you may have lost followers or somebody may have hacked your account? I mean, I don't know. Like I, I know it's a lot different once you get that amount of followers that folks be trying to get into your shit. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, in 2021, I had lost my TikTok first. I woke up one morning, I tried to log in, and it said banned. I had just hit 560K followers. Right. And um, I tried to log back in, and it was like it was banned for like different, multiple reasons. Like people just went down and reported me one night. So the next morning, I was like, okay, so I still got Instagram. I woke up, tried to log in on my Instagram account. My Instagram had got deleted almost. It was like a hundred and some K. I know it's leaning more sore towards this two hundred K. Yeah, back to back, like at around the same time. Damn. So like, it made me feel like I'm not even gonna lie. Like, with the pages getting deleted, it made me feel like what I was doing on social media wasn't enough. And I really felt like I was I was took as a joke. Like I feel like, you know, I wasted all my time. Like I was making money off it, but I really feel like people just took me as like a joke. Like I'm just this country. Time boy just on here doing she so when they took my pages I feel like she since I, I wasn't even gonna try to come back on social media. Right. So I started doing like posting again and I built my page back up and now I'm almost at seven hundred thousand followers and two hundred K again. How long have you been on social media like overall? Like three and a half years now. Okay now. That's what hell though. I, I never knew how that worked, but Yes sir, it's a uh, it's a process, but you gotta have patience. You gotta have a mindset that this is the path that you want, want to take. Because when I start working at my plant job, I told myself, I said, I'm never working in another plant a day in my life. Yeah, that so, shit's so, man. If my tenant don't pay me, then I don't know what we is. <laughs> that work. <laughs> want some candy, bro? Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, cool. Big body. Yes, sir. First kid. Oh, shit. Is that a waffle? Mm-hmm. That bitch look like a butt for real, bro. Wait, yeah, it's a big body. Mm hmm That bitch. I probably should put this up right. Okay. Uh, but I've been hearing it a lot on uh, the Instagram reels, TikTok. Like, I've seen the song doing numbers on Instagram and on social media. I've been mm -hmm. seeing a lot of people dance to it. How, how did you come up with that song? I wrote this song. That bitch slide too, though. Appreciate it. I wrote that song last year, last summer. Um, Beats Battle was one of my favorite songs, like, of all time. Thanks. So I was like, you know, I would listen to Beats Battle one day, but you know, I want to write my own version of this song. Mm -hmm. I started to write, and I was like, she, one day, so one day I started, I tried to practice it. And then come out like I wanted to, so I, started, <laughs> I gave him more practice. Right. So I, when I finally did go to the studio, I was like, she just lit that beat real. So we got on there and I did my thing. And she, I believe that she, I was like, oh, I got a beat battle for real. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch definitely do numbers though, for sure. That's, I appreciate it. That, 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 that bitch. Wow. Gotta turn like this, my damn leg turn. <laughs> <laughs> How can everybody find you? Well, y'all can find me on social media. Mr. Crying So Bad, that's M-R dot C-R-Y-Y-I-N-S-O-B-A-D, and that's on everything. Is there anybody that you want to shout out before we all close out the shit? Well, shout out to you for having me. Shout out to you for shout being out, on the show. No problem, no problem. Shout out to God. Shout out to my girl, Kiki Two Blanca. Shout out to Drea. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to my dad. You know, like, shout out to the hood. Like, you know, like, when you be having guns and stuff in the hood, you know, like, when I used to shoot the little pistols and stuff, like, I'm so glad, like, like, like I'm glad you gave me time to do the shout out, because I just want to shout out to, like, shout out to little Dada, like, shout out to little Trey, like, when they be on the game, you see, like, hold the damn me, you know, y'all, y'all know y'all come home. <laughs> okay, dude, <yeah, man. laughs> man, make sure y'all go check out Mr. Cry so bad on all his social media platforms and everything that he got in the future coming, man. Dude, funny as hell. I appreciate y'all tuning in the show, and we gonna sign out.
Thanks for watching the episode. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you feel like you could be a good guest on the show, or you know somebody that could be a good guest on the show, you can DM me on Instagram at OneBlackElmo, or you can email me at BlackElmoFilms at gmail.com.